Hello there and welcome back to Raft. Yeah, so we're back on Raft getting ready to continue right where we left off last time. Um, on our uh, little survival series that we have going on. If you don't know what Raft is, it's pretty much just a, uh, just a survival game on a Raft. And you gotta, you know, survive. You can play this game how you want. It's pretty much a giant survival sandbox, you know, just on a big old Raft. <laughs> or a small little Raft. Depends on uh, what you like. But uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing our world in just a second. But first, I must mention that um, we are only going to be doing single player because our uh, uh, the buddy of ours that uh, we usually play this game with, well not usually, I should say, sometimes play this game with, um, his internet is not the most stable of things, so he is not able to um, play this game with us today. But we have enough. We have a good enough time just by just just uh, by us, don't we? <laughs> we don't need friends. No, that's okay. Um, so yeah, uh, and also first, before we do get started on our uh, little survival um, thing here, this is uh, going to not be using my PC resources as is tradition. We're going to be using Boostrade, Boostrade Cloud Gaming Service. Yes. That is a, uh, if you don't know what that is, that is a service that allows us to um, play games via the internet without using, uh, playing PC games uh, via the internet without having to use a PC. You can play it on, you can play it on a PC if you like, like I'm doing, which I am on a PC, but I'm not going to be using my computer's resources, I'm using theirs. I'm using their computers and their servers, so, um, which uh, you can kind of see the app here as well. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> that's what we're going to be using. And like, like I said, if you don't know, it's a cloud gaming service. It's a um, service that allows you to just play games over the cloud, which is really cool. Uh, either through Steam or through Epic, or using Steam or Epic, but using Boosteroid as a cloud gaming service. And they're, uh, yeah, they've been uh, really awesome to um, my channel and stuff like that, helping me promote my channel. So I help promote their product and I use Boosterite while doing these videos as you can clearly see I got this little overlay here um, that uh, you know I use it all the time when I when I make these videos obviously every time I make one of these videos it's one it's uh, using this service so um, it's not like I'm promoting a product that I don't ever use or see <laughs> and it's actually pretty good um, they don't pay me to uh, say anything um, you know, they don't say, oh, well, you got to say that, so you got to say that. They just make recommendations, and then I can I can say what I want, so, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, my, my mouse at the top of the screen here, see, we are using it in um, Firefox as well. And playing on the uh, internet browser. Um, so when I click into the game, you can see I'm just messing with settings and stuff so the game is the game is real it's not no video anything like that it's not fake so over to booster right cloud gaming this is the website you'll be greeted with um if at any point during the video if you would like to sign up for booster right and pay for one of their um pay for one of their subscriptions uh subscription offers they got two options um but if you want to do that uh there is a link down in the description below that will help the uh, channel we get a little piece of that if uh, if you decide to do that so uh, if you do decide to do that then uh, I think you so because uh, you do help us out <laughs> and obviously you're helping out Booster right by purchasing their service but yeah this is basically the main website and stuff like that we're not going to get too much into it if you want um, all the details of Booster Raid, um, the first 10 episodes of this series showcase all of that there's plenty of information throughout those uh, 10 episodes right at the beginning the first like 10 to 20 minutes um we'll give you all the information you'll need so but like i said we won't go too far into it but uh yeah you first uh when you create an account creating an account is completely free that allows you to see all the games that they have available as well as uh, see what kind of internet connection you're going to have as well against their servers they got a little server test up here which we can go ahead and test um little connection test which is really nice it's going to tell us how our session is going to go today um which should be fairly well uh should be nice and whatnot uh we got 100 megabytes uh with the bandwidth so we're doing pretty good there uh they recommend more than 25 and we have 45 milliseconds latency which is more than 
uh, they recommend, which is 20 milliseconds. But uh, so yeah, we'll have a, maybe a little bit of input lag if we even notice it. I and mean, this is not much. There's not much difference between these. It may be two big numbers, you know, a good distance number-wise. But when you're talking milliseconds, it's really not all that bad. Um, the only time I say this would make sense is maybe if you're going to do multiplayer competitive. Uh, and stuff like that, that might make a big, a bit of a bit of a difference, but it all depends on your internet. So, and that's what kind of experience you're going to have. So, mine says man, but we actually usually have a pretty good service um, for about the two hours that we play um, using that service, which is really nice. So, um, and uh, what's not? <laughs> but yeah, I really do. Uh, I really do uh, enjoy using Boost. Right, it's really fun. Um, I don't use it all the time because I do have a gaming PC, but um, doing this based off of this RAF series is actually pretty cool, so um, definitely enjoy doing that. Um, if you need any uh, any kind of help, you're having any kind of issues, you can uh, use the live chat service thing down here in the bottom right, or you can click on their page, their help page, which loads up a uh, tab here, and this is all of their... Uh, help center stuff so that will uh, uh, that can definitely help you out tons of articles here that you might have help and they also have a discord server so uh, if you want to join the discord server and uh, get help there as well you can go ahead and do that um, and that will help you out um, but yeah one of the first things you're going to notice when you do create an account or you're looking at the website looking at the games and stuff they have uh, you're going to notice that there's two different options here uh, underneath the games. There's either license required or there's free. Either of these do require you to uh, pay for a subscription. And the reason that is is because you're using their servers and you're using their hardware in order to play that game on whatever device that you have. Either it's a phone, a smart TV, a tablet, or using your computer like I am. You know, your own personal computer, you can use laptops, any, just about anything. There's there's quite a lot of support for a lot of different products and stuff like that. Not everything is supported, but uh, if you want to know what is supported, you can always ask uh, the Booster Aid team. So, and they will uh, let you know on that stuff and, and help you out if you're in indeed need of any kind of help. They also got an online store, Fanatical, uh, if you want to go ahead and... Um, purchase games through there sometimes they have some really good deals and stuff like that that steam doesn't but um, now the license required ones that this requires you to own the game either through steam or through epic um, there's a you know those two options there those are the two main stores you need to own it through out of there um, I'm also going to go over here we're going to go load world I don't know um, there's a 10 minute inactivity timer so I'm trying to keep that at bay but I like the music of the the main menu to uh, you know, help me make the video. So I like it. Pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, you uh, you have to own these games uh, because when you go to play these games, like if I say play Raft, for instance, which I own on Steam, if I click this play button, it's going to take me to the Steam login and it's going to make me log into Steam and then play the game through the Steam application. Um, it's a few extra clicks, but to be able to play PC games when you rather, when you would, you know, uh, on the other hand, not be able to. Um, pretty good option. Uh, the reason I would say pick Boosteroid over some of the other services is because um, Boosteroid does own all their own stuff. They own all their own servers and they own all their own hardware um, and whatnot. Yes, some of the others do offer free options, but uh, because Boosteroid owns everything and they pride themselves on that, owning all their own stuff um, that's why they can't offer a free option because they don't uh, they don't have the funding to be able to do so and still be able to make a profit um, because it does take a lot of money to upkeep all that and they have some of the they have uh, some of the best hardware um, that you can even get um, that you can play on you can you can and there's also unlimited sessions for either option as well uh, let's go ahead and go to the buy options right now Okay, and here we are at the two buy options um, and whatnot. We've got 989. This is in euros. This is about 1075 a month, um, US dollars. Probably somewhere close to that in pounds as well. Um, and this is just under 100 bucks um, for the year. So this is these are both one-time payments. 
um, you pay per month. Uh, and if you have a discount code, you can put it down here and then click apply and it'll apply that to either or both options. So um, before you purchase either of those, if you do have a discount code, you can go ahead and do that um, and whatnot. So yeah, <laughs> these are two options and yeah, I mean, for 1075 a month, that's not really, I, I would say that's probably not really that bad <laughs> um, to be able to play that. And it's unlimited as well. Um, you don't have a limited timer um, on how, how much you can play per month. And there's also no session timers either. The only session timer you have is if you're gone for more than 10 minutes, which uh, if we do happen to be gone for more than 10 minutes on the game here, uh, we'll get jump scared <laughs> with the warning saying, hey, your session time will, or your session, and it does give you a warning. It doesn't just kick you out after 10 minutes. It does say, hey, your uh, your session is about to be terminated in, in two minutes. And then you can click an option whether you'd rather, if you'd want to terminate the session or continue. I, I would suggest continuing, <laughs> uh, and uh, whatnot. Hopefully we don't get jump scared by that. But it's happened a few times. <laughs> it, it still gets me to this day because it's so loud. It's it's great. It needs to you know go over the game volume. So uh, it does make sense. Uh, but yeah, these are the two options. And like I said, because they own all their own stuff, they're not able to offer a free option. But they do run a lot of discount codes as well as um, if you're part of the Discord server um, uh, and whatnot, you can um, you can also get some games for free as well. They do have giveaways and stuff like that, mostly on Fridays, uh, I do believe, over on the Discord channel. And you could possibly uh, get yourself a couple of games to play um, on their service. Now, those games are redeemed like Fanatical. If you buy games on Fanatical, you get a code, and then you either redeem it, you either redeem it on Steam or Epic. Um, so... There you go. That's how that uh, that's how that stuff works. So, but yeah. Anyway, um, so pretty good option um, and whatnot. And they are still working on getting uh, the Xbox games to the platform. They've been removing uh, a few games from their uh, from their repertoire that nobody plays, <laughs> so that they can add all the Xbox games because they just done a, a deal with Microsoft and and whatnot. So, hopefully that all goes well uh, or continues to go well, and they will. Uh, get those games on very, very shortly. Um, yeah, play Xbox games. So they are here. They are working on it. It's, they, they've been adding um, some new games and stuff like that from Xbox. So, or from <laughs> Xbox, from Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft owns Xbox. And yeah, here's the Boost Right Friday giveaways. Um, you can get some prizes and, and stuff like that, too. They do have some game giveaways, which is really awesome. So, And that's your game to keep, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, and like I said, too, the only reason I promote um, Boosterite is because uh, they help me promote my channel. So, And uh, they just ask for a little bit of promotion in return on, on, on my channel. So, yeah, I figure that's a pretty good deal on my end So, uh, for uh, both parties, which is nice. But, yeah. Um, oh, uh, one more thing, too, that uh, when you are inside of a game... Um, You'll see you'll you'll see this little uh, icon here. You can when you're clicked into the game, you can control Alt at the same time uh, on PC, and it will pull up the little uh, overlay. And you can click the there you go. You can click this button, and it'll terminate your session. Um, the one thing I would uh, recommend doing, uh, which people haven't been doing for some reason, um, you know, is um, if you want to save your game's progress, like truly save it, not not just you know game save game exit um if you want you need to make sure that your uh uh you need to make sure that your games are synced with uh i use um steam so you need to make sure that that is synced with steam uh, make sure that your games do get synced before you terminate the session because what happens when you terminate the session is that computer that you were just on kind of somewhat wipes its memory uh, so that that saves space for game updates uh, and for other users to do game updates and, and to play their games and save their games and stuff like that, too. Um, so it's like a temporary storage type of deal. Um, and that um, keeps them from having to have massive hard drive sizes, you know. Um, so, yeah, make sure that your uh, that your game does get updated. If you have a game that does not have cloud saves on or cloud saves enabled, like Dyson Sphere Program, 
unfortunately, you will have to start a new game, so uh, and you will not be able to save your progress uh, and whatnot. So definitely remember that. Also, um, anything, any third-party softwares or you know, like or mods or anything like that for games are not supported. Um, they want you to play the game as intended uh, and whatnot. So and you are playing the game through Steam <laughs> or through Steam or through Epic, and yeah, they just they want you to be able to just play the game and uh, you. That's why most of that stuff is not supported. And plus, they don't have access to your personal files either. So if you do have mods in a game, you will lose those mods. Uh, you won't be able to access those mods because they don't have access to your personal computer either, even if you are using it on your PC. You're, uh, even though I'm, I am on my PC uh, and stuff like that, I'm still playing on whoever computer this is, you know, or the Boosteroid's computer, but whatever computer this might be. Um... But yeah, uh, and also, like I did say before, you can play on the max settings, so there's all of that uh, and whatnot. And that's uh, that's pretty much ev it um, for everything I did want to cover. Um, I've been trying to refine kind of my review of Booster and stuff like that. Um, I guess it's not really a review, it's just a talk about kind of hit some of the max points, kind of the high points of, of Booster and stuff like that. I do like to cover, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get on into the game. Uh, go ahead and load our game. As you can see, we've got cloud saves on, so we can just um, we got cloud saves with Steam, so we can just load up the game. <laughs> yeah. There is that, <laughs> and uh, whatnot. Let's go ahead and load the game. But yeah, it's a pretty good service. It works really, really well. They do not have. Uh, anything above 1080p, 60 FPS, so do be aware of that. But I mean, most of the time, uh, when you're using this type of service, you're not using it on a gaming PC anyway. Um, it's like I don't know why you would. <laughs> I guess if their hardware is better, maybe you might do it that way. <laughs> you know, use their hardware instead of your own. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just one of them things. It's really up to you how you want to do it. So yeah, you might notice some uh, some pixelization here and there, or some some slight graphical oddities. You'll see that boostroid.com has your has control your pointer. Um, this game in particular has some kind of issue with um, with uh, the pointer and stuff like that. When I access uh, when I access like inventories and things like that, that loses control, which is really weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just a game thing. <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, I could be open about uh, some of the issues and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, like I said, if you have any trouble, just remember also that um, that a lot of the Boostroid stuff is still in beta, so uh, you might run into a few bugs and stuff there. But definitely, definitely, definitely remember to sync your game uh, with the cloud saves. You'll, uh, you'll you'll regret it if you don't. <laughs> It'd be like just like just like if you're using your PC, you know, if you're using a gaming PC, make sure that stuff syncs before you turn off your PC, which is basically like terminating the session, turning it off. Anyway, like I said, we're going to be by ourselves today, so it's not going to be super super exciting. There's not going to be anything super exciting to talk about, so I'll probably talk about Boosteroid a little bit here and there. Uh, and whatnot, but uh, we had uh, last time we had stopped by this island. We also completed the boat's kind of shape, and we decided that it's more of a, a giant pirate ship than it is a. Oops, I fell in the water. It's more of a giant pirate ship than it is of a container ship uh, because of the long nose. Because uh, I designed the nose uh, to be way too long, should have been much more, uh, you know. Much, much much shorter of a uh, of a nose for the actually what is that called it's the is that the the bow I don't know what's the front part of the ship I forget <laughs> I, I, I know I know um, port and starboard and I don't know the whatever the stern is the stern's like the bottom I think the bottom by the back or the aft which is the ass of the ship <laughs> I don't know uh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Uh, no idea why it's got to be so complicated. 
so what are we doing? We are going to take over this island we had just come across. We do have a bow and we have some arrows. I'm also going to be putting up most of my stuff. Um, I'm going to put that cup up. I'm going to put that up, that and that. We don't need those. Um, I want to take the axe, but I kind of don't at the same time, but I do. Yeah, I do. I want to take the axe. Okay. Uh, we don't need the hooks. Uh, basically, I'm just cleaning out my inventory so that uh, if I happen to die here, because I'm in single player currently, uh, if I happen to die, I won't. I, I will lose part of my inventory. So I'm just taking. I'm taking stuff that I'm going to need to defend myself, uh, and maybe a couple of axes so that when we're on top of the top of the island there, um, we can cut down some of them trees. Because uh, what we're going for is uh, we're going for the up there. Uh, going for that bird. Uh, there is also a boar, I think, around here somewhere. Mm. Oh, I'll take the island stuff. Just out oh, there, you are. Why am I not poking him? Poke him better. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> gotcha. Eat it. I don't eat it. I need those pineapples. Yeah, let's take those pineapples. Uh, there should be two boars on this island if I remember correctly. Um, there is one over here somewhere. Oh, there's the bird. Oh, I thought it was coming for me. It might be coming for me. Who knows? Um, I don't see the other boar. I guess we'll just head on up. Uh, we'll, we'll take a shovel into that island soon. Alright, let me get her about my bow. So yeah, this bird is an absolute asshole. Uh, absolute asshole. Need to get him. <laughs> Gotta shoot him out of the sky. Mm, there's no way this way. Is it this way? I can't remember how to get up here. I think it's this way. Oh. Hey, we made it. Climb up over this. I don't know if this is the way. <laughs> I think I'm just Skyrimming it. Yeah, I'm just Skyrimming it. Yeah, there's a way up over here. <laughs> just doing a Skyrim. I love how that's just the term. <laughs> ah, trying to drop rocks on me. Where'd you go? Some berries. Berries, pineapple. I want to. I don't want to grab that box at the current moment because it'll fill up my inventory. Ah, there you are. I couldn't find them. Oh, we can't. We can't be having this. <laughs> I need to keep track of you. <laughs> Eat it. Ugh. That was not a skill shot. That was a luck shot. <laughs> that was a fling it up and hope. <laughs> and hope I get a hit. Okay, this one would be a skill shot. That's a skill shot right there. I was able to track the target. Oh, jeez. I was not, I did not have it fully ripped. Did you I hit him. Oh, here he comes. Ah, I went too high. Where you going? Where you going, bird? 
Ah, hey! That's not how- that's not how that works, bird. Oh, there's another pineapple. Pineapple. It was getting dark as well. Oh. <laughs> I gotcha. Come here. I can see you in the dark. I think I hit him. I heard a noise. Oh, I killed him! Nope, never mind. The animation just stopped. That's all that happened. Oh, there we go. Down you go. Into the water. Great. Ooh, barrel. Oh. Ah, you're glitchy. Stop being glitchy. <laughs> Get most of my arrows back. I only lost a few because I missed a few times. Oh, I'm going to grab that barrel too. Why not? Boop. Okay. <laughs> uh, every time you see that come up as well and I haven't like accessed an inventory or, or anything like that, opened anything, it's just because I, uh, I have a... Uh, tapped out to see, make sure my recording software is recording, because my recording software is incredibly prone to stop recording at any given any given moment. Like there, when it lagged a little bit. It uh, could stop just recording altogether. Sometimes it just... I don't know why it doesn't, it just does. There's the hole, there's the hole. We need, our, we need to remake our speed hole eventually. So we actually have a decent place to aim for. Oh. Oh, it's flooding. Okay. So, put, uh... Oh, shift click. It's control click on, um, says factory. <laughs> uh, that, that. Um, rest of this is food stuff. We do have a bit of wood. A bit of metal and a bit of feather, feathery goodness. That was weird. Thought I saw something. Okay. Um, yeah, so we can put the uncooked steaks in here, I suppose. Maybe put those in there. Berries. Oop, the leaves don't go in there. The leaves, the leaves don't go in there. Um, that's something. I need to not hit escape. I forgot that. <laughs> uh, so that... Oh, the other thing you want to avoid as well if you're using Firefox is if, you're, uh, if your game utilizes the control key, get rid of it. <laughs> Change it. Because uh, control W closes Firefox. <laughs> closes the window. <laughs> so you want to avoid that. Uh... And, uh, I keep forgetting what control does it. Um, but yeah, it's, um, not fun. But anyway, let's go, go, let's, uh, go ahead and go to bed, and we'll continue on in the morning. Hello, cat. Meow. Need some water. Water. Need some water. I need to stop hitting escape. It's not help, it's not doing me any favors. <laughs> like that doesn't work. I love how my fresh water stays fresh as well, even underwater. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll put these up. This and this. We'll take our little. We'll, 
<laughs> we'll take our axes. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the. It's one of those things that uh, you go to make a joke, right? And the joke even kind of. Oh, we put our. Uh, let's see, put our bow up. Um, yeah, we don't need our bow. We got rid of the bird. Which is it's one of those where you got to do a joke or whatever. You got to do a bit, and the bit is it, it gets you for some reason. Like it makes you laugh as well. It's just like what the. You just you get taken aback by it a little bit. At least I do. And no, I'm not saying I'm great at making jokes either. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> the little llamas and little goats. Yeah, I'm definitely not good at making... <laughs> definitely not good at making jokes. I just go with it. I forgot a shovel! Yep, I should go grab a shovel. While we're close, closer to the boat, I should say. Yeah, the only the only thing I wish this game did was it did better with the the waves because the boat is acting it's not acting correct it's doing an approximation of where the waves might be that's why we have this wa the the way the water going through the the thing uh, and it just needs to act better. Do I have a shovel in here? I do not. Did he take my shovel? I think he took my shovel. Because there's a brand new one in there, so... Um... No, he doesn't have my shovel. This is the only shovel. Well, at least currently. I think after this island, this this episode is um, going to be focused strictly on the expansion of the next deck. We need to, we really need to focus on that. We need to just grab wood resources. We just need to go just hog wild. We need to be a bull in a china shop. With the with the boat expand. I don't know how that works, but sure. <laughs> It's like, then why'd you say it? Uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> I thought it was funny at the second. That didn't make no sense. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not good at making jokes. I try my best, though. I don't know if this soil is good, at, or this dirt is good at for anything, but... Um, I guess we'll, uh, we'll grab it. Does this not go anywhere? Oh, is this this is this one? That there's just nothing in here other than a couple bits of dirt. I forgot about this. Yeah, this one's just absolute, just not worth it. Oh, maybe maybe it's worth it. Maybe maybe I was wrong. That I remembered. Oh, mushrooms. I don't know what the mushrooms are for either. Cave okay, mushrooms. take those cave mushrooms and we'll take that dirt. Does this go anywhere? No, it doesn't. What? Hold on. Is that all there is? Yeah, that's all there is. Meh. I was hoping for a crate. I guess F me then and my crate hoping abilities. Yes. Um, yes, yeah. We'll start from the top of the island. We'll start chopping trees down as well. But yeah, I think after this island, I'm just gonna... Um, just gonna, you know, set sail for nothingness. And uh, collect a million piles of wood. Because that's all we need right now. We don't even need metal anymore. I mean, we, we still do need metal, yes. But it, the need of it is very small. Comparatively to what it used to be. Uh, what it used to be. Yeah, I guess we'll start here. Unfortunately, we can't chop down the big trees either. 
which is not fair. I want to chop those down. You know how much wood there is in that? Like, yeah, it would take me all day, but I can still chop it down, still get the wood. That crate is useless. There's more wood in this tree than there was in that crate. Three pieces of wood and a piece of scrap. <laughs> What's the point? That's why I brought another axe. <laughs> That's a mango tree, too. I'm just gonna grab every tree. Dang, three mangoes. Just all the mangoes. Man, if we ever run out of food, like meat, food wise, and we have so much. Down we go, down we go, down we go. And it's not much on this island as far as like trees and stuff go. Just making sure I'm not passing by any palms. Yeah. Need to collect as much wood as possible. Wood is definitely what we need. chopping down these uh, on this island we're getting free palm seeds so we can grow on our boat as well so yeah, there's a there's a plus for that one okay, there's nothing up here just checking the upper levels the upper rivers Definitely not collecting flowers. Maybe once we have a massive boat that we need to paint, <laughs> then I'll think about it. But uh, I am not uh, focused on that at all. We got a, some melons. Awesome. Nothing more over here. I guess we'll head down to this level. Grab every single tree. Just about done here. I have a few trees left. That's about it. Like a bit of clay and a <laughs> bit of metal in that pond. Not the type of metal we want, though, unfortunately. There's a palm tree over here. I haven't looked at the other side of the island yet, but I don't think I'm... Uh, I might, I might, when I'm underwater. Go take a look around. Yeah, see how the long nose? Look at that long nose. <laughs> it's got such a long nose, man. It's more of a pirate ship. More of like a, what, a galleon? What's the not not man of war? I guess. Well, maybe it might be um, around that size. It's not going to be quite that though. It's going to be uh, it's going to be the one underneath that probably. Actually, man of war not might not even be a thing. <laughs> Just see my my knowledge of pirate ships is uh, the. Um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That is my knowledge. Hey, look, Bruce. A wild Bruce has appeared. Ow, you bastard. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't fight him in the water. I'm no good at it. Okay. So we got we got some stuff. Got a bit of that, got a bit of that, got that, that. And a piece of glass. Look how much glass we have. It's insane. Let's see, where are all the mushrooms going? Is there any wood? Yeah. Oh, of course there's wood. What am I talking about? Um, oh. I guess I'll, uh, I'll put that wood. There. And we just have leaves. And then we have dirt. There's dirt. Oh, do we uh, hit the max stack? Um. Hmm. Guess we'll grab the dirt and put it here. There we go. Okay. Palm leaves. And then just plain old food. Jeez, that's a lot of watermelons. I'm gonna eat these watermelons. We got two stacks of watermelons. <laughs> Just gonna eat all these. Mmm, delicious. We got <laughs> two stacks working on three stacks of, uh, We only have five seeds. Uh oh. I'm gonna move this into here. And then. Yeah, we need more seeds. Surprised I didn't collect that many. Hmm. Anyway, sun is setting. Time for us to go to bed. <laughs> There's our cat. Uh, we just got to do the underwater section now. There we go. <laughs> now we're falling asleep. Okay, we don't need we don't need the shovel. We do need probably these. Yeah, I wonder where my bow went. I took my or put my bow down accidentally. Oh, I put rope in here. There's that other shovel. It's like, dang it. I'm uh, looking for a bow. We swapped it out with something by accident. Pretty sure. I don't think I... I didn't break my bow, did I? I don't think I did. I might have accidentally dropped my bow. I don't know why it would. Really. Yeah, I lost my bow. Hmm. It's not in any one of these chests. No, definitely not. Dang it, that sucks. Yeah, I actually lost my bow. <laughs> Crap. Crap, oh I don't think I put it in here. No, and I didn't even... Oh, hey, that's where our frickin' palm seeds are. Why you? you? And then I go, let's uh, go cut down some trees real quick. Yeah, let's chop down all these. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. five. Okay. Up to these. 
Whoa, this boat is real. If the boat feels more, it sways more when you're up uh, up higher. It's crazy. There's that one. And that one. I guess that's all the trees. Max is about broke as well. Okay, we did get like four extra seeds, so that's pretty good. Um, let's plant all these. seeds inside here. They're going to grow inside the chest <laughs> as well. Uh, got quite a bit of wood off of that too, which is nice. Okay. Oh, and then of course we need to water them. <laughs> My chest is underwater. Uh, oh, wait, they're watered. Do they get watered when <laughs> with their underneath? Wait, what? Um Oh it's raining. Oh that's cool. I didn't I didn't know that. Did not know that if it rains it waters your plants for you. That's pretty cool. That's the only thing I could think of because that uh, that upper layer never gets underwater, so it's not like that's that's what's causing it. Um, I guess I can put this axe out. We got another axe that's just about dead. Lost my bow at this point. Oh, we got some leaves as well. Got some leaves. Just had chests and chests full of leaves. <laughs> I love how he's trying to build this upper section. <laughs> it's taking a while. Ugh. I have to get some uh, get some stuff done this episode. I hope. Um, need a couple of hooks. There's a hook there, but I don't want to take that one. I'll take this one. And since we got so much bait, um, I'm gonna just throw a bait out for Bruce. Dinner time, Bruce. Let him go for that. If he's even still here. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that'll give me enough time to search this area. That he's right next to. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that metal. Yeah, the only problem is now I have to deal with Bruce myself. I can't just... Um, stuff's deep down here. Right, grab it before we drown. Up we go. See him still hanging out over there. Oh, there's actually a uh, little thing down here. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, there's a puffer fish. I don't have a bow, so I'll have to come back. Do with that puffer fish there. I lost my. I lost our boat. Our boat's there. There's our boat. Oh, so that does not last long. Dang it, Bruce. We have to go back and make a bow anyway. You missed. Eh, -heh. You missed twice. But he did not hit me there. He bit down on the water. Not me. Yeah, we definitely need a bow. 
We got some metal though. We can go ahead and uh, start smelting more of that. Some metal. Oh, I got the vine goo from there. I was just like, how did I get that vine goo? I didn't pick any up. <laughs> um, a bit of this, a bit of that, and a bit of rope. Yeah, I guess I'll have to eat, and then we got to take care of Bruce. Yeah, that's the last for quite a while. Like three soups, and you're good for a few days. <laughs> it's great. That way we just keep healing. Oop. And then one, two, three, four. So yeah, that that bait does not last long, <laughs> unfortunately. So we're gonna have to get rid of Bruce probably the old-fashioned way. Do it with some bait. <sighs> All right, Bruce, let's do this. Come on. Where are you? Oh. No. Oh, I missed. All the way above me. There he is. <laughs> the edges aren't all there. Oh, dang it. Let me out. Okay, we gotta be a little bit quick here. Try to be. I'll put my stuff up. Shark head. Meat. Add a little bit of wood. Actually, I might need a bit of wood. I think a bit of rope, too. So I can make a couple of those. There we go. That wood back. Put the extra bow over here. That rope back. The vine goo. Okay. So now we have a bow. And we have ammo. Yay! Now you go take care of that uh, puffer fish. Which is just down over here. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that while I'm drowning. Yeah, we need the uh, explosive, um, the explosive goo. <laughs> like, they ex call it explosive goo and not like gunpowder. Come here, puffer fish. That's how you take care of these guys. Come on, get to the surface! Go, go, go! Ball! I <laughs> love that, man. It's so good. <sighs> okay. We got ourselves a puffer fish. Which is good. He's filled with arrows. So it takes three arrows to kill him. And we only got three back. We fired four. That's okay. As long as we don't lose too many too quickly. I just had to get rid of Bruce there. There's also metal down here, too. Ah. Drowning again. It's so deep! It sucks. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> That's not good. Okay, back down we go. <laughs> yeah, there's there's metal down here. It's just it's so deep. It takes forever to get to. Oh, there's some of that blue algae. Algae. So much iron down here, though. Alright, up we go. I'll have to grab that piece of metal in a bit. I'm just I'm low on health, so I don't wanna I don't wanna die. Come on, come on. Man. That's why Bruce returns so quickly. Or it seems like he returns so quickly because the stuff is just... It's down here, man. It takes almost half my breath just to get to it. Alright, start heading back up. I'm kind of heading up at an angle. <laughs> for this metal. Oh, there's quite a few pieces down here. Grab some of the lower pieces. Look at these pieces way down here. Oh my gosh, there's even deeper ones. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going back up. I'm not dying down here. <laughs> Just holy crap, man. Look at that, I just barely, I started to take health damage. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no, Bruce, come on, man. You returned so quickly, it's not fair. I'm gonna die out here. That's what's gonna happen. But I'm greedy. Okay, let's get out of here. Swim to the surface. Already taking damage. I'm not gonna be able to make it to either. Oh, I'm dead. Come on. No, he got me. Surrender and respawn. I just lost a bunch of stuff. Ah, uh, what did I lose? Actually, did I, I didn't think I lose, lost anything. I didn't lose the explosive goo or the bow. Oh, I didn't lose anything. Okay, I'm happy about that. That was just that's just unfair that it's that deep. All right, we're making flippers. <laughs> we're making flippers because this is ridiculous. Um, oxygen bottle. Ooh, we can make that too. Yeah, we're making um, a set of oxygen, or uh, uh, yeah, we're going to make all this. Uh, we need eight plastic, we need 16, so we basically need a stack of plastic. Oh, let me, um, because yeah, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> it takes so long to get anywhere without them flippers, I think. Ugh. And he just, he comes back so, uh, just so quickly. I don't know where this is. hiccups are coming from. Yeah, he just comes back too quickly. Where we don't even get a chance. The game's not being fair at this point. It's just like, okay, time for you to upgrade your technology. Um, I'm glad we didn't lose anything that time. I think I think the game was being merciful. <laughs> I think. Uh, explosive goo. We do got some leaves. A rock from that chest. Um, a bit of plastic, a bit of wood, and that puffer fish head. So I've killed six puffer fish. Yeah, we definitely. Uh, yeah, you got some explosive cube. <laughs> yeah, six pieces. Of, so you only get one piece per. Um, wait, did I lose my cup? Oh, I didn't lose my cup. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see here. All right, what are we going to need? All right, for the action drop bottle, we're going to need a stack of plastic. Stack of plastic. What about the flippers? Six and twelve. So we need sixteen. 18, 28, so two stacks. Um, oh, I'm glad we actually have seaweed, okay. So 12 seaweed, so a stack of, a stack of seaweed, pretty much. Uh, vine goo, uh, we need 10 vine goo there, and 10 vine goo there, so exactly one stack of vine goo. Um, Need four rope, so eight. Sixteen rope, so a stack of rope. And an empty bottle. So we need a couple empty bottles. And empty bottles are more plastic and vine goo, I think. That's under the food. Yeah, bottles, okay. So four... So eight, wait, how many oxygen? Okay, it's one empty bottle. Um, so we need two empty bottles. Okay, and two empty bottles, that's gonna cost us another stack of plastic and we'll grab another stack of vine goo as well. Another stack of plastic. Another stack of vine goo. Craft two empty bottles. And then craft two oxygen bottles. Is there a way to refill these? Or do they just refill on their own? I have no idea. And then two sets of flippers. Okay. Dang it. I need to stop hitting escape. That that's what's causing this uh, to have issues. Okay, so there and there. Okay, so then... Oh, I lost my... Oh, I never had a helmet. Never mind. It's like, I lost my helmet! And it's like, wait a minute, I never had one. Okay. So now we have both of those, and that should be much faster, and we'll be able to hold our breath longer. Which would be nice. Put the vine goo back. Plastic. Oh, seaweed as well. Uh, I'll put this, but we run slower on land too. See, we're extremely like we're not as fast. I believe it's uh, just increases your speed underwater, but it slows you above land. Okay, and maybe we can fight Bruce in the water um, since we have like flippers and stuff. So I'm gonna go get rid of my rope. I just have extra of. It's almost night time, so I'm just gonna just gonna go. Okay, Bruce. Let's go. Can we chase him? We're still not as fast as he is. What the hell? Hey, he's he's trying to get us. His AI is a little bit. Poke him a few times. Then we can hold our breath. So, come here. <laughs> We're just poking. Come here. Oh, I'm starting to drown. Why is it not poking him? It's like, poke him! Hey there. Poked a little bit early there. But I did manage to get another poke off. Ah, I got that one for free. Alright, we're gonna get back on our boat.
because it is nighttime and it's hard to see. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we definitely need. Yeah, I'm so slow. At least Bruce won't recover health. That's what's nice. Uh, put that up. My cup. Alright. Put my cup up. Cup up. And we just need to grab some food. So slow. Man, our food got wasted a lot. I think... This does provide, like, extra... Like, when you take damage, it drains faster. Something like that. There you are. I still can't avoid him. It's hard. It's hard to avoid his hits. See, he munches on me no matter how fast I move sideways or up and down. Oh, got him that time. Cut him off. Oak! It's like, I, I'm clearly poking him, but it's just, like, missing. I like, get him. His hitbox is really weird. Hey, we got him. <laughs> Quick, pick him up before we drown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we'll be able to hold our breath longer. Okay, down we go. <laughs> we'll finally be able to get those deeper or these deeper metals without having to waste too much time. I don't know if these have it like a maybe those are durability rather than I thought you had to fill the oxygen bottles, but maybe it's just a durability thing. Like, I think we get an extra, or we get like half. It's like 100%, it's like one and a half times, so it's like half. You get, um, basically half a time more. Or something like that. I don't know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, though. Right. So there's no more metal. He shouldn't come after me from this far, though. Yeah. Uh, when he does come back. He comes back way too quickly, though. So, in my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> the development of this game is very weird. Like, you can see, like, balance in certain areas, and in other areas you can't see that balance. So, it's, it's really strange. It's a really strange balance they've got going on with certain things. It's just the way the game is, though. Just have to deal with it. Maybe spending all this episode on this island alone. This island's so massive uh, as far as the underwater front goes. Oh, there's, like, nothing back here. Well, there's a school of fish. There might be something. Uh, there's a bit of um, copper. And a bit of iron, too. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna go up, get our breath back for a second. Back down. Like, if we see schools of fish, and there might be something. 
Let's do hope anyway. I don't know. I think they just need to they need to come back in and rebalance it because the difficulties don't they don't work completely. <laughs> like this should be easy. I should be breezing through this game. But the difficulty seems to only apply to uh, how much damage you take and how much you have to eat. And that's about it. Um, maybe that's all there is. Or maybe that's all there's needed. But I don't know. There just needs to be Needs to be a little bit more. Yeah. Yes, I'm complaining the game is too hard. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda complaining that. Um, I don't know. Like some of the timers and stuff like that too, like... Um, I think on easy you should get extra time between Bruce coming back. I don't know, maybe there is, but it's, it doesn't seem like there's enough of a difference uh, to notice. I don't see that difference. Oh, yeah. Now that we got this underwater gear, we're doing good. Oh, there's a puffer fish. That's why I got my bow. Well, let me go up and get a breath. Fill my meter. <laughs> uh, the cartoonishness gets me every time. It's fun. Alright. So you were guarding this, and there is a box. And our inventory is pretty empty, so... Oop. Oh, wow. I got quite a bit of there. Quite a bit of that there. And we can continue to stay underneath here. Eh, not really. The breath comes back so much quicker as well. Which is a nice touch. But yeah, honestly. I think they just need to... They need to come back and do a bit of balancing. And then... Um, then the game... Make the game a little bit better. Come back, redo a few things. Because I don't know if they're completely done with the game or not. I mean, I think they are. Uh, as far, at least as far as content goes, they're not going to add anymore because the final chapter they said it was the final one. But they do, they do need to continue to work on the game. Just to do a few things. Like, uh, <laughs> like the waves going through your boat or through your raft. I get it's a raft and it's not it's not all that impressive. <laughs> but it there's there is some things that do need to be done to it. To make it more boat like. I don't know. <laughs> I really I'm not a game designer, so I don't really know. Ah, oh, you bastard. I think that's everything. I think we can finally leave. Let me check this little alcove looking area. Oh, there's a few pieces of metal here. That's alright, we'll take the hit. Take the hit, grab the metal, and run. Sounds like a song. <laughs> take the hit, grab the metal, and run. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> okay. Got quite a bit more metal as well, which is nice. I don't have any wood. I have eight pieces of wood. That'll work. Alrighty. 
Look at all the metal we have. And we're about to get some more. Oh, oh wow, these, these, these do not last long, do they? <laughs> we're gonna need like a chest of like flippers and yeah. I mean, it is made out of seaweed. It does kind of make sense that <laughs> it's not gonna last. It's just not gonna last very long. Okay, we put the explosive goo in there. Um, put that there. Shark head there. Got more shark meat. Okay, that one's full on planks. I'm actually going to put this in there and then grab some planks. And then do have some leaves we'll get rid of real quick. I got a new recipe. I don't know if we have this one or not. Put it in our hot bar here. Uh, strawberry juice, or strawberry colada. It's one pineapple. Yeah, we already have this one. Right. Just put it in the box. With all the other recipes we already have. <laughs> right, of course, fish head, bow and arrows. Uh, I'm gonna grab my cup. And I'm also going to grab my paddle, because we're going to need that. Um, guess we'll cook some shark meat. Sweet. Okay. So then what I want to do is paddle through my boat. Because I wanted to try and pull our our boat our uh, boat away from the rocks. Let's pull it away from the rocks a little bit better. There we go. There's also a reef down there too, so wanted to try and avoid that. All right, I think we got everything. Um. That we're gonna need for quite a while. Yep, I'll just keep on a smelting and gathering them massive resources. Um, what am I looking for? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Is this cooked yet? No. Oh, we can go to bed. And then, uh, yeah. Let's uh, go collect some resources. On to adventure! While we're also sailing, too, I'm going to be chopping down more trees and replanting. <laughs> Just like this. Boop. Just need to learn how to do this. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to put more planters down here as well. Because, yeah, we definitely need more wood. Definitely need a lot more wood. Yeah, this does give us quite a bit, though, so... Yeah, there's that. Yeah. Just while we're collecting resources. There we go. <laughs> Went ahead and uh, moved the crop plots down here. It makes it a little easier. We just narrowly avoided an island. Ooh! <laughs> Did not expect we were getting that close to one. Holy crap. Oh, hello, crate. I guess it's time to empty the nets anyway. Um, put this up. Oh, we probably should empty our inventory first. Uh, coconut potato... Um, I might make a new box for coconuts or something. Something like that. Maybe we'll move the coconuts over here. 
or whatever. So basically, oh, no, we don't have to collect inventory just yet. So basically what happens is uh, if these nets are full with 10 items, that moves on to the next row, which, um, you know, then that's like 20 items in these little squares. So yeah, we don't have to collect just yet. But I do, I do have wood. Keep smelting our copper down anyway. Okay, you know what? Let's go waste all of our wood resources, see how far we get. <laughs> Because we're going to be expanding this out even further. Oops. Rot oh, R to rotate. I wonder if I can... Nope. Okay. We're just going to nice and slow. Let's see how far we get. <laughs> so we don't have a whole lot of wood, but we have some. going to be expanded quite a bit. I have big plans for this boat. <laughs> okay. So let's put some corners on, of course. Uh, inner corner, this one. I think we'll put one on this corner as well while we get it out. Can we even do that? No, it won't even let us. Never mind. Um, so that there. Okay. But like I said, we'll see how far we can get with all this wood. We're already down below 100, which is crazy. <laughs> wow! I can't believe it took all that. I think the game is lying to me. <laughs> it feels like this was not a not like 300 wood I just spent. <laughs> uh, maybe it is. Yeah, I just spent all of our wood, pretty much. I'm just making this up to be a little higher. <laughs> yeah. Once it gets all the way around, though, it won't be... won't look so bad. But that'll be the lower deck. Um, and uh, whatnot. So we're going to expand... We're not going to expand the length or the uh, outer width any further. Um, we're going to go straight up from here, so this will be a wall um, right up here. Um, so that way, this is kind of like a cargo hold a little bit, and then we'll go up two more levels because that's because um, I believe these are too tall. Actually, how much are the, uh, or how are the walls? And they got some crazy wolf <laughs> roof pieces. Yeah, the walls here. Okay, so the walls are already too tall. All right, so that'll save us some wood then. I think we can just run the walls all the way down. Yeah, and then above this is going to be the, the actual, uh, the actual deck above that uh, so that we get at least a decent height and that'll be pretty nice there mm. yes getting a little further um, just kind of making my way through this uh, through this massive ocean Got this all the way to here, at least. Um, so that's something. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> there is still a lot to do though. This is taking up a lot of wood. Can't tell you how many times I've emptied this collection nets in the last couple hours. Just freaking <laughs> just filling them up, man. Collecting a lot of stuff though. Those things are basically building the boat for me. Uh, almost done with this back half as well. One wood short. <laughs> Actually, six wood short. I'm sure, I can get six wood out of this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, give me more wood. Okay. I almost ran into a few islands as well by accident, not paying attention. Just kind of hanging out, you know? Um, just sailing along. As you can see, I've, my wood stocks are extremely, extremely low. They uh, constantly are extremely low as well. It's like I just, I just can't keep my wood stocks up because um, I need to keep building this. Um, but this is as far out as the boat is going to go, uh, which is uh, pretty good. So I think that's a, a decent, decent distance. And then yeah, we'll put a, we'll just put walls and we'll go straight up. Um, and then that'll be the that'll be the normal deck of the entire boat. Yeah, what I should have done was I should have expanded this if I wanted to continue with my container ship idea, which I'm fine with doing a pirate boat. Um, we're fine with that motorized power or motorized uh, pirate boat. But I should have expanded this all the way to uh, probably here. Whoa! Fell off my boat. <laughs> Swim. Swim. Oh, no, uh oh. Good thing I don't have like the motors on or anything. Can't see anything. The waves are just too crazy. There we go. But yeah, I should have expanded. I mean, that's not much of a change. I could, I could fix it, I suppose. But it is. If if we get a bunch of metal, I might fix it. Bring if, at least bring that that line, that boat line to here. Um, and then if we bring that boat line to here at least and then we just need to kind of round it off I guess you could say from there um, and whatnot. It's like it still could be fixed into a container ship, but I think a pirate boat would be, it, it does fit with the theme. <laughs> it does fit with the theme. I will admit that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did pick up the metal. So I did have a few bits of metal as well left to, to uh, smelt. It's gonna drown while we sleep. <laughs> Just wake up. <laughs> oh, we're extremely hungry. I haven't had to eat in a little while, so I'm going to start eating these shark meats. i got so damn many of them. Yeah. Okay. And drink our water. These things actually filter pretty quickly, which is nice. Grab that. Fill that back up. I'm also down to my last bit of um, trees as well. If I don't get at least seven seeds from all these trees, um, I won't be able to replant much. Like, I won't be able to refill this. It just, the, the seed drop as well is stupid. I, I will flat out say it is the, the dumbest thing. The, uh, the palm seed drop. The palm seed drop is so little. Like, it's quite a bit on the islands, but you're also chopping down a bunch of trees. Are we going to run into that island? Uh, no. We're good. But yeah, the sea drop is kind of stupid. Like, I don't expect to get more than what I put in. But I at least expect to get what I put in. <laughs> you know? 
Like if I, you know, a seed for a seed, you know, you use the seed, you grow, you get some resources, and then you gain another seed from that, which I'm fine with, so that I can replant. Like I don't know why they wanted the seed drop to be very little. Um, like the chance, like it's on a chance-based system that you'll get a seed for it. That just doesn't work. Look, I have five seeds. Five, six, seven. We got eight seeds then, all together. So we can plant eight more trees. Um, not quite enough, but I need to keep up with this. Then eventually we'll have to revisit some more. I guess that kind of gives you a reason to revisit more islands. Wait, what just happened to that? The game just ate my seed. Wait, no, no, we're good. It sounds dirty as well, what I just said. <laughs> the game just ate my seed. If you, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. I just, I miscounted in my head. That's what happened there. Two, three. So then we fill that one up entirely. Three, four, five. One, two, three. Right, and that should be, yeah, that was max. That's why I usually count, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I got some more si I got some more trees growing. We're going right by another island. I've I've ran by a bunch of islands <laughs> already, <laughs> and this is why uh, because once these once this fills up, it's gonna start collecting in the nets behind it. Pretty good system if I do say so myself, and I do say so myself. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think uh, the next big island we come across, I think that's where um, where I might call it there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because I, I've been at this for quite a few hours already. Oh, I also added, um, added in these reinforcement pieces. Uh, and whatnot, so. Yep. We'll see how she goes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we need to keep collecting wood. Like I said, we're going to work on boat expansion today. Let's uh, and empty these collection nets. Just look at all that stuff, man. Ah! Inventory's getting full. Good thing the waves are slow. I don't know what I was dropping. Now I'm dropping planks. There we go. <laughs> Made a weird noise, too. Need those planks. Alright. Okay, and then we'll just go put everything up real quick. Bit of that. Look at all these planks. So many planks. Not very many at all, actually. <laughs> that is not very many. It is insane. I'll we'll just turn this all. Uh, turn down your headphones, skits. Whee! <laughs> That's why I have an auto clicker. Just to quickly do that. So much rope, man. So much rope and nothing really to do with it currently. But when we do finally do, uh, when we do finally get around to actually being able to do something with all that, and we'll have the rope to do it with now, won't we? Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we'll grab all but one stack of wood for right now see how far we can get on the front part of the boat. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the pirate theme, and we'll just call it a day. Um, I think that won't be too much of a bother. 
Oh, these are going to be... These won't be these pieces. They'll be these pieces. Okay. It'll be this. And then it'll be... Uh, this, I believe. Right? Oh. Yeah, it'll be that and then that. And then it actually subtracts from this length here. Okay. We'll do the same on the other side. Oop. So that one. And then that one. And then this one. And people who haven't really played this game very much are probably wondering why don't I just why don't I just go this high and call the deck that? Um is because the more I add to this, the more I add to this raft, the the more it's going to sink into the water. Um, because there is a bit of a weight mechanic in this game, just a little bit. And uh, what's going to end up happening is, um, the more I add to this boat, the more it's going to sink into the water. And uh, during some of the storms that we have, these waves actually reach above this floor. They do reach above this floor here, which is crazy. <laughs> so that's why I'm going even taller than that. Um, we're going a whole wall taller, uh, and then that will solve that issue there. Um, okay. So then that. And then that. Um, then we'll go over here and do this one. That. And then that. Actually just about done, too. With, um, this, uh, leaning level. And, uh, whatnot. Obviously, this part of the boat is still going to be angled upwards, uh, in a way. Um, because it's going to... Uh, not really sure how to explain it, but yeah, you'll see once we get to that portion. But yes, look how much we're sinking. Just the more I add, the more this boat sinks. This is just average waves as well, just the average ocean, and it's reaching all the way up here. Imagine some of them storm waves we're going to get. But we got plenty of space for, like, uh, motors and such when we build those. Um, plenty of space to do all kinds of stuff that needs that um, just straight up water based. Is that another big island I see? I think it is. Yeah, you can kind of see the shadow of it over there in the distance. I'm gonna go turn the sail. Uh, let's go open the sail up. I got my paddle just in case. Um, yeah, we'll go uh, drop the sail here. Or, yeah. <laughs> full sail to the side. Yeah, I do see a big island there in the distance. <laughs> it's definitely there. Right. I'm going to kind of angle this just a little bit this way. There we go. So we're kind of angled. We're still going forward, but we're going sideways at the same time. I like at an angle. So I want to get to this island here. But the fog of war is stopping me from seeing it, <laughs> clearly. You can just see, there's the bird. I think I'm going to help. Help get over there. We're getting closer. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Hey. Now 
I think there's a, uh... This island's strange-shaped. Okay, there is a beach coming up. Alright, we do need to... Ah! Crap. <laughs> To lift that sail so we're not going sideways anymore looks like we're gonna just skim it that's the whole point though we just need to we just want to just skim it get close to this island <laughs> just before dark too I'm afraid that bird's gonna attack us whoa there's a big rock in front of us uh oh it's a big island. Holy crap. We need to rotate that sail. Rotate the sail! Full stop! How did they stop boats back then without... Like, I'm pretty sure they didn't always use their anchor, right? Like, if they needed to full stop in the middle of the ocean, they can't just drop their anchor. I mean, they probably could, but it, I don't know if it'd go down far enough. Yeah, we were about to run into that island. You know what's funny? is uh, if if uh, uh, our buddy gets back on, um, he's going to be like, huh, so you didn't do anything between uh, on last episode. Because <laughs> this island looks exactly the same. Oh, that's too funny. Okay. I don't know if the underwater sections are the same or not. I haven't really paid all that much attention. We're going to go to bed. Now, luckily in this game, when you go to bed, uh, time does skip forward, but your boat locks in place for a second. There's a small section of seconds where your boat just locks in place. And it don't move. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> this truly is a, a beautiful game when it's when it wants to be. Oh, whoops. Raise that sail. We're moving too far away from the island now. <laughs> oh yeah. Get a picture of that. Now, unfortunately, since we're on boost right, that's not going to save. Um, yeah, that'll make a. I'll make one good screenshot. I think. All right, we need to move sideways here. Get back to the island. Gotta be careful of any reefs, though. Yeah, there's, uh, you can see seaweed. There's definitely a reef down there. And the reason you gotta be careful with it, because, um, if the waves get too crazy, what'll end up happening is it'll, um, it'll try and shove your boat through. Oh, yeah, that's, okay, we need to raise that sail. Back up. Yeah, we're right on top of the reef here. We need to get off of this. Because, uh, like I said, if, the, if them waves get too crazy, what'll end up happening is it'll... Um, uh, I'm actually going to turn this around. Let's slow us, let's slow us down just a little bit. Oh, come on! <laughs> Freaking speed holes! Nah, I'm not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll drop anchor here. All right. There we go. Now, the reason I'm trying not to get on top of this reef here either. Um, hopefully, we're in a good spot. Uh-oh, no, we're not. We need to... Ah! Uh, he missed. <laughs> How did you miss, Bruce? Any glasses? We need to go a little bit more forward. Just a little bit. Now we'll drop anchor. Like we just need to clear that reef back here in the corner. Yeah, so if the waves get too crazy, that won't be so bad. No, Bruce, no, Bruce, no! Oh, you passed it. I'm still wearing my... Oh, I shouldn't have been wearing that as well. Oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> that was, uh... That was quite a fun trip. I did I did spend quite a few hours, though. 
just collecting resources like I am now. <laughs> just so that we can continue to build the boat. Um, let's see. Put all the wood back. I always like to empty my inventory at the end of every episode. Or at least organize things. Put that in there. We'll make some more rope. Okay. And then got some beets. Some sweet beets and some potatoes. Some taters. Taters and corn. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's everything sorted there. Um, yes. And then I do want to take all but one stack of wood oh, yeah. to drink. Perfect. And of course we do need to eat as well. Did I leave anything on the barbecue? Nope. Try not to leave items out as well. Okay. Yeah, this stuff doesn't last us as long. That's okay. Alright, let's go do just a bit more on the front end here. And then we'll call it a day. Pieces. Do this side. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much all we're going to be able to do, so. Um, it's like, yeah, we could chop down the trees, but meh. Um, but I think that is going to be it for this episode of Raft, and uh, this episode being, um, or this episode using uh, Boosteroid as well, just in case you forgot. You can see, yeah, we're still on Boosteroid, still on the website. There's the website right there. <laughs> Perfect. But yeah, still on there. Um, so yeah, at uh, any point um, during that video, um, even right now. Um, just as a reminder that if you are going to, um, that if you are thinking about uh, signing up for a subscription to Boosteroid Cloud Gaming Service, that uh, I do ask that you please use the link in the description below. Um, because if you do that and you purchase a subscription through them, we do uh, get a little, you do help out the channel just a little bit because we get a little bit of piece of that. So, um, yeah, just in case you decide to uh, and what's not. Just a reminder, there is a link. But uh, yeah, like I said, that is going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Raft. And uh, what not. <laughs> and until next time. I guess it's a goodbye. <laughs>